All right, what is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have our buddy Michael's Miata in here. We're gonna be doing a cam angle sensor replacement on this thing and showing you guys how to reset the timing. Right now this thing is running like garbage with the current cam angle sensor. This also could be a good video for you if you ever need to replace your cam angle sensor O-ring, which is a very common failure on the Miata. So we're gonna show you guys how to do all that today. All right, so first up, what do you got there, 12 mil? Yes, 12 millimeter. Um, probably really easy to take off and like disassemble. The only tough part about this is getting it back together. I know you can mark, mark it where it is and it kind of gets you close on the timing when you put it back together. Um, do you ever do that or do you not mess with it? We can, they just can't see it. So like, they don't really bother. <laughs> okay. But, um, cause I mean, as long as it'll start, you can always just shoot the timing line up to it and then um, get it all situated. So I'm just gonna remove this. Yeah. yeah, so like Eric said, we've done this job a few times before, so we're not too worried about it. We're just gonna pull the cam angle sensor off as is, and it shouldn't be too hard to get this thing timed when we get it put back together. So, so when you're pulling this off, you really need to make sure um, you don't, you kind of like may, pay attention to where, uh, one second, let me get this thing off. <laughs> I might need to take this off. I'm pretty sure I removed my pull taps. Yeah. I think that's the way you're supposed to do it. Yeah. Cause I can get, I can feed it through here past the clutch line, but. Yeah, so, okay, so his, it's leaking really badly right here. Um, you can tell there's a couple differences with these prongs, I guess you call them. Um, they need to be correct. Cause if you do it like this, like that's, that's off. You're 180 out. You're 180 out, so. So we, we had pulled it out like that. So that's how this is gonna have to go in. Probably the most annoying part about this job is putting this back in, because it's you're, you're blind really to it. It's really tight space. Um, obviously if the engine's off the car, it's much easier, but I don't think that really, red, don't, really, pull don't pull the motor to do this. <laughs> is kind of what I'm getting at. Yeah, so the back of the cam is keyed, just like that part he just showed you on that cam angle sensor. So when you're putting it in, it pretty much has to line up perfectly, so it might take a few tries to get it lined up. And you, like he said, you can't really see, so you're basically just putting it back there and just trying to get it lined up as best you can. And when it goes in, you'll feel it. It will only go in one way. If, let's say you're leaking a lot of oil from that spot, um, it's the same process. Buy the Mazda O-ring. Don't go fail pro. <laughs> this is one of those ones. It's common even with the OEM part, so like, it's common even with the OEM part, so there's not like a, I don't know if there's a better replacement out there, but I wouldn't go anything other than OEM. Don't go eBay. Yeah, don't go eBay. <laughs> I think you buy OEM on eBay. Hey, unless it's OEM. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really close. Mm. All right, so um, now that this is hooked up, we're gonna set up our timing light. You get the timing light, you shine it on your crank. There is one mark that needs to line up, line up with the other marks. When you adjust that cam angle sensor on the back, it'll actually move that mark so you can actually time your car. Uh, I think stock mat is like 10 degrees. A lot of people go up to 14, 16 and just run higher octane uh, fuel to get a power bump. Um, but we're just gonna try to get this stock as possible. I got 80 wit horsepower in there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so with the Miata, if you find this plug right here, it should be really close to your airbag uh, plugs. You can pull this out, and this is your 12 volt power source for the engine bay. Uh, now this should work on your cars. Just grab that little prong in there. I know my old Miata, it actually didn't work. So we always had to use a battery. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, so basically how the timing light works is it needs a signal from the number one spark plug wire. It also needs power and ground, so that blue plug just supplies the light with power, and then you just grounded it like to inside the engine bay, right? Yeah, um, make sure you're not going on a painted surface. This is kind of, there's not much paint back here, so it should be fine. So basically what this is gonna do is once we start the car, it's gonna show us 
every time like the spark fires and it's getting that signal from the spark plug wire this is going to allow us to time the engine so what we're going to need to do is fire it up and do we have to do the thing with the diagnostic box yeah yeah so we'll show you guys that we're gonna have to bridge the the 10 and ground ports in the diagnostic box you got to do this anytime you time the car make sure to leave the 12 millimeter bolt on your cam angle sensor a little bit loose because you're going to want to be able to adjust it by turning the cam angle sensor back and forth slightly so um, you can see ground and 10, G and D, central ground. Um, so you want to put one side in there. This works with a paper clip too. Um, it's honestly usually what I would use. But this works too. All right, you guys, that is pretty much going to do it for this job on this car today. Hope this video could help. I just want this to be a basic overview on pretty much how to remove, reinstall the cam angle sensor on a 1.6 Miata and set the timing. I'm going to leave a link in the description below on a detailed how-to on how to do this job step by step. I know this is one of the first jobs I did on my Miata when I got it because my cam angle sensor o-ring was actually leaking. So I removed it, replaced that o-ring, and reinstalled, just like you saw in this video. Also, before we go today, I want to announce the winner of the Miata Corner Flare giveaway. I want to thank everybody for entering. I think we had almost 100 entries. I put everyone's name who commented on my post on Instagram into a random name picker. And the winner of these is going to be Han Fo. So congratulations. It looks like your car is already classic red. I went ahead and DM'd you on Instagram. Get these sent out your way. So again, thank you so much to everyone who entered. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it helped. Many more Miata videos on the way. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome week, and we will see you in the next one. Yeah.